Who's ready for another riveting tale? Just as soon as I get this, oh, come here. Just as soon as I get this AC going here. It's a hot one today. I'm not playing around with driving around in the heat. There we go. All right, so some years ago, I used to work for this guy. He uh, owned a construction business or something along those lines, fairly good sized construction business in the area. Super good guy, super nice guy. Um, one day he called me up, he calls me up and he goes, hey, I'm getting married. And I'm going, uh, okay. Is he, is he telling me this so he can, is he telling me this because he wants to invite me to his wedding? Like, what the crap does this mean? Well, he tells me, oh yeah, I'm getting married here in a couple of days. I got a mail order bride. And I'm like, huh, okay. I've heard of those, but I've never known anyone that actually that actually had one. So I'm like, oh, okay, well, whatever. Lifestyles of the rich and the famous, I suppose. <laughs> well, so he, he goes, oh yeah, he's telling me all this stuff. You know, I think she was from Korea or, or Vietnam. I can't remember which one, but... He, he, um, he's like telling me, oh yeah, yeah, we're getting married here in a couple days, this and that, this and that. So they get married and a uh, couple months go by and all of a sudden he, one day he reaches out to me, he goes, hey, hey, Jason, we're, we're moving. And I'm going, moving? Well, that's weird. He goes, we're moving. We bought a house at such and such. And he tells me where it is and it's, you know, a few miles away, a different area, but He's like, okay, we, we're gonna sell this property, and we're gonna, uh, we're gonna, um, we're gonna sell this property we're in, and we're gonna move into that house. And I'm going, okay, that's fine. So he wants me to. He's like, I want you to put in mulch and flowers and spruce up the plants and this and that and this and that. And I'm like, okay. So I'm making a plan, you know, getting making time to go pick up materials, this and that. Well, next day he calls me back. Hey, never mind. We're not buying that house. We're gonna stay in this house after all. And I'm like. So, you, so do you want me to cancel the mulch? Yeah, yeah, cancel the mulch. Okay, fine. All right. So we can't just uh, took that off the schedule. What? Well, a few days later, Jason. Never mind. We are moving after all. This went back and forth three or four times before he finally settled. You know, they're moving to this house, selling this house. Okay. All right. Fine. So moved into the new house. Started taking over the new house. Uh, I show up one day and uh, the backyard's all torn up, like dug up like a mound of dirt and like there's like a 10 foot hole, like, and I figure, oh, okay, he's putting in a pool, okay, he's having a pool put in, all right. Then there's, I show up a few weeks later, there's a pergola out there, there's decking, there's all this high-end landscaping and all this high-end construction, and I'm thinking, oh, okay, so his, you know, he's, he does have a construction business, so he's, you know, he's doing something related to that. But one day he's out talking to me and he's telling me, oh, he's telling me about his wife and everything, what she's been involved with, what she's been doing, you know, since they, since he married her and since they moved in. And he says, oh, she's, uh, he says, she went into massage therapy. I don't think anything of it because, okay, you know, massages and that sort of thing, whatever. Well, He comes to tell me that she's paying for all this. <laughs> and I'm thinking, that's strange. She's paying for all this? She hasn't been here that long. Well, he tells me she she cleared such and such amount of money last month in, in tips or whatever for work. And I'm going, that's not, like, why are you telling me all this? What, what is, where's the point to this story? Well, yeah, I don't remember the number, but it was a pretty high number. It was a lot of money, you know, probably like, I don't know, 50000 something like that. It was a lot of money. So I'm going, huh, well, that's bizarre. And then he goes, he, he, he comes back after that. He goes, he looks at me, he goes, but it's caused a, somewhat of a strain in our marriage, if you know what I mean. And I looked at him, and the wheels are turning, and I'm thinking, huh, what would cause that sort of a deal with that amount of money in that field? So I look at him, I said, no, I, I don't know what you mean. What do you mean? And he, he kind of looks away and he, he goes, it, you know, well, anyway, and he, 
and he changed the subject very fast. <laughs> oh, the the way I gathered it was she was uh, she was selling a lot more than just massages. <laughs> she was selling some <laughs> selling uh, selling herself, as it were. <laughs> Oh man, brutal. It was one of the most interesting conversations I've ever had with a client, you know. It's, it's just, I, uh, <laughs> I just had to laugh at that and pause for reflection. It also gave me a new, whole new, um, whole new appreciation for my wife. It's great to, it's great to have a woman who don't go doing that, playing that game don't go, you know, getting involved in that sort of nonsense, uh, but, yep, that's the uh, mail order bride guy story, it's definitely a unique one, that guy's not crazy, that guy's not crazy, I just think he made some, uh, <clears throat> just think he made a couple of bad decisions, really nice guy though, I, I enjoyed, I really enjoyed doing his property for the for four or five years that I did it, he, he was a, he was a really good client of mine, and uh, but yeah, he uh, he had some issues. <laughs> oh man, didn't pick very well. Didn't pick, didn't pick terribly good. I guess you gotta live and learn sometimes, though. He wasn't that old. He wasn't he wasn't like. He wasn't like a young young guy either, but he wasn't that old. He was probably, I don't know, maybe same age as me, maybe a little older, I don't know. Don't no idea, but yeah. Going to my next one here. This is kind of my uh, long journey for the day. Cross cross town. Back from Dallas proper into into the uh, other part of town here. I better wrap this up before before I get a ticket for distracted driving. <laughs>